What's good, everybody? This is your boy Simpistato here bringing you with a super old ass game, bro. Hold on, I'm about to take this shit off. Same thing as last time, you know. Um, it doesn't really go to full screen. Y'all see Luffy in the background, you know, straw high and everything, but created by JV. I seen that. I seen that. But this is an old game, old ass game. I used to play a long thing, what, eight years ago was the last time I played it. And I never beat it. I never even got like. I don't even think I got fully into that bitch. Yo, you gonna keep running or? But this is, bitch. Um. Oh, there you go. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is Pokemon Uranium. This that one. Hold on, let me do something real quick. There we go. So this is Pokemon Uranium. This was the that one Pokemon fan game that was banned a long time ago, only because like Nintendo ain't like the thought of a fucking Pokemon fan game making more hits than the actual games that they make so they banned it then it got unbanned and now people's able to play it now all over the place and i'm just revisiting it it's like it's like what an old school throwback type shit maybe ish um but hey it's something that i did a little super long time ago i thought i'd bring it back up bring it back into light so that way you guys can check out like this new fan well i mean I'll, I'll i'll say that it's new you know new to 2023 a lot of you niggas probably ain't even re yeah let me stop talking let's see um regular mode custom nah we'll do regular bitch yes i'm sure what huh who is it oh hello there welcome to the world of po who is this talking to me oh what's good cool guy bambo the fuck type of name you you a professor or <laughs> But if you find that hard to pronounce, you can just call me the Pokemon Professor. Oh, you one chill ass po- you look like a young professor. Oh, you're the kid who's applying for a job, right? Uh, yeah, maybe. Nigga, I need money, boy. Hold on. Um, rundown, controls. Let me see what the controls looking like. We got a speed up button, maybe? No? Oh, alright. Bet that up. Nah, no info needed, nigga. Ooh, this is a smooth- smooth dancing background music what the fuck all right what kind of odd ass normal type looking shit is this this is the definition of a normal flying type hmm is that a uranium pokemon uh blah 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 still much left yeah bro thank you thank you bro thank you i can't speed this shit up no i can't this nigga talk way too much uh he said something about there's new types of pokemon report to my lab tomorrow to get your first pokemon now, if you just fill out this information here. Oh, thank fuck, nigga. Who are you? This nigga right here? Baby girl? Or cuz right here? Um, I don't know. I'll go with this nigga right here. Yeah, I'm, sh I'm for sure. My name is going to be a hey, none other than Oswald, nigga. I don't know. I actually like that name. I don't know why. It should look cool as fuck to me. Your journey, your story is all about to unfold right now. The future is a blank slate, my friend. You, together with your Pokemon, are going to fill it. For real? Pause on that, I guess? Yeah, let's go, bro. You talk way too damn much for a Pokemon. Oh, what the fuck? Lore? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ten years ago, Oswald's family lived in Beale Beach City, the largest city in Tandor. Ooh, did it me? Oh, that's my pops. Their father, Kellen was a kellyan <laughs> was a brave and talented pokemon ranger mm -hmm. and moms their mother lucille was a brilliant scientist and an expert on nuclear energy oh shit. hey hey although they both worked together demanding jobs they always found time to spend at home with young oswald the Tandor region was at peace, and Lucille's company was working on a form of clean energy that would change the world. Oh shit, for the best or for the worst. The future seemed bright until, oh shit. Damn, it's dark as shit. It was an ordinary day at the nuclear power plant where Lucille worked at. Mm -hmm. Some type of fucking Simpsons backstory shit, nigga. <laughs> as part of a routine inspection, they brought in, um, they brought in a specialist to take a look at the electrical system. Hey, hey, mm -hmm. Cameron, have you finished your diagnostics? It look like that one nigga from um, Black and White Elite 4. Yes, I have. Everything seems to be working perfectly. This generator you designed really does its job well, Lucille. Excellent. Mm -hmm. 
If everyone has um, finished their work, we'll break for lunch. Bet that up. Uh, boss, you might want to take a look at this. Yes or no, nigga, just pick one. Strange. The temperature readings are far higher than normal. Oh, shit. what that mean? Either we need to reset the thermometer or the reactor is leaking a massive amount of heat. Oh, shit. It can't be the thermometer. I just checked that. Just now. Wait, my nigga, he was just on the... Well, he probably checked that shit on the PC. Ooh, whoa, hold up. Oh, shit. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, ooh. There must be a breach in the reactor. At this temperature, in just a few minutes, we'll have a total meltdown. Oh, shit. Everyone needs to evacuate now. Lucille, you have to leave too. Wait, moms? What the fuck? Lucille! Oh shit, damn, what? With Cameron's help, all the scientists were unable, oh, bitch, <laughs> were able to escape unscathed, except Lucille. She was never seen again after that day. The radiation leaking from the broken reactor made the surrounding area uninhabitable for many years, foiling any attempt to try and search for her. Oh shit. Damn, the loss of his wife had a profound effect on Kelly. I don't even think she's really dead like that. His personality changed. He became cold and dedicated to his job. In time, he got promoted to chief of the Tander Pokemon Rangers. Oh, shit. Nice. However, he became too busy to take care of his child. Yikes. So young Oswald was sent to live with their elderly auntie in Mokitown. Mokitown? Hey, Pops, I'm going to find you. I'm going to whip you. Never mind. Ten years has passed. Bitch, I'm only ten years old. Auntie's health waned. Supporting a child was too much work for her. Oh, shit. Wait, hold on. This got dark real quick. Fortunately, Ernest Bambo. Bambo? Bamboo? <laughs> the local Pokemon professor was looking for a research assistant. Mm -hmm. Two kids from Mokitown applied. Oswald and their childhood friend, Theo. It was common for youths of a certain age to receive a Pokemon and travel. They yeah, come on, bro. Yes, thank you. My journey finally fucking begins. That was some good backstory, bro. Oswald, come downstairs. You're late. Yeah, I know that's not my pops. you like screaming at me like that. God damn. Hold up. Shit loud as fuck. Christ, help me. There we go. Can't run, bitch. No, I guess I can't run. Oh, wait. Not my pops. I'm at auntie. Yo, what's good? Aunt May? Kind of. Um, Oswald, sweetie. <laughs> Oswald, sweetie. Today's your big day, isn't it? Yeah, I can't help but feel glum. There's no, there's no need for you to feel gloom, Gram. Oh, Granny, I was gonna say Auntie. I'll be good. Just gonna get us some money just so I can be able to support you a little bit. You and that boy Theo, always following in each other's footsteps. That one. Oh, you've um, you always been so capable. But I wonder what about him? He is younger after all. I'm sure his father, Cameron, wouldn't allow him to go unless he was sure. Anyway, time to celebrate your big day. I got you a present. Hey, what's this? What you got me? Spazikes? Okay. What? Thank you. Sniffle, don't cry. Um, I keep... I'm always about to call her granny. Don't cry, auntie. I'll, I'll be good. Ain't no need for you to be emotional. If only Bitch, I don't want that nigga to be over here. He abandoned me. Made me come all the way over here for no reason. I'm not where I want to run into that nigga. All right. Thank you, grandma. Y'all talk a lot in this game. Shit. Thank you. Ladies. Bitch, how do I run? My fucking grandma lied to me, bitch. I cannot seem to fucking... Oh, Moki Town? Hey. Da -da -da -da. Uh, what the fuck? This <laughs> shit. All, how the tone and all. What's this? Hey, what? Who? Chin Chin? What? Chinese ass Pokemon? Oh, uh, that got some boulders blocking it. So I guess we got to go up here. Where's this Theo nigga at? He probably already at the lab. Excuse me, bitch. Oh, what was this? Hey, what's good, twin? Let me see you real quick. I guess not. What's this, a daycare? Hey, wait up! Oh, I guess it's Theo. It was good, Theo. What's up, twin? Where do you think you're going, huh? Are you trying to get to the lab before me so you can get the better Pokemon? No, not really. But well, that ain't gonna happen. Because I'm gonna get the strongest one first. I bet. Try to keep up, Oswald. Alright, Theo. Nigga. Oh, hey, look at that rat tour right there. Hey, if it isn't Oswald and uh, your friend, Tommy, was it? Honestly, Pops, can't you even remember my name? 
It's Theo. Theo. Theo kind of looked like the other buddy from that my mom knew. I think Callisto was his name. I don't even remember the nigga's name. Catrice. <laughs> right, right. Theo, you're just in time. Today is a very special day for the both of you. It's your first day as um, at work as field research assistants at Bamboos, Bamboos, whatever the fuck it is. Your job will um, will be to travel across the world, blah, 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 in the United Nations, capturing each and every single different types of Pokemon and their elements. I have three Pokemon right here for y'all to be able to enjoy and aid through your journey. Journey, journey. Bitch, I cannot speak. <laughs> Before you get your starters, blah, blah, blah. Okay, come on, bro. Down, nigga. Bitch, it's an aptitude test, bro. I thought you were going to give us a rare, powerful Pokemon. Not only that you have to pass, study for a... Just give me the test, bro. I do not care, nigga. I hope I can just get that fire type. Let me see. Sheesh, kid. You're not very patient, are you? All right. If you want to know more about what's going on, what's on the test, blah, blah, blah. I don't care, bro. Give me the fucking aptitude test. Thank you. When you encounter a new kind of Pokemon in the wild, what is your first reaction? Hmm. Damn, if I see, if I had seen like a Pikachu pop up out of nowhere, mm, I would, I wouldn't wait to see what it does. Maybe attack it right away or throw a Pokeball at it. I mean, if it depends like on what type of Pokemon it is though, like, cause if it's like something mad strong, I'm gonna attack that bitch right away. But if it's something that I want, bitch, I'm gonna throw a Pokeball at that nigga. What? Very good, both of you. Come on, that was easy. Give me a tough one. Okay, okay, chill out, chill, bro. Screaming all, can I stand like a couple of blocks away from him? This nigga screaming all in my ear and shit. Which one of these TMs would you prefer to teach your Pokemon? Hyper Beam, Protect, Hidden Power. Uh, Protect is so baby, nigga. I ain't trying to do nothing like that. Hidden Power is like Russian Roulette, bitch. Hyper Beam that bitch. Um, this nigga wants to be a trainer so bad, but he doesn't know what a TM is. Uh, I'll tell you later. Let's move on. Yeah, come on, bro. Chill out. Which of the following Pokemon would win an all-out battle? Gyarados, Gliscor, or Ampharos? Oh, damn, that's a tough one. Because Gyarados is a, like, water-flying type, bitch, I think. I thought that nigga was, like, a dragon type. Gyarados is a water-flying type. Gliscor is a ground-flying type. Ampharos is just an electric type, bro. I think Gyarados wins, TBH. But no, he gets cleared. He gets cleared by Ampharos. Gliscor probably wins. Because Gliscor is a ground flying type, yeah? I say Gliscor. Is it possible? Shut up, bro. There you go. Now, this is your final question, so answer it honestly. What is your motivation for becoming the best Pokemon trainer ever? Oh, shit. I already said it, bit <laughs> To become the very best. I'm No doubt about it. I'm going to be a Pokemon master, and nobody's going to stand in my way. Haha, <laughs> I dig your spirit, kid. But that's it for the trainer aptitude test. Now it's time to analyze your results. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, damn, that was quick, bitch. What you got for me? Hey, hey, what you got for me? Hey, you seem to be a trainer who won't hesitate. Wait, who won't hesitate to go for what you want? Yeah, I ain't, I ain't me, bitch. You prefer to overwhelm your opponents with sheer force and firepower. The saying, the best defense is a good offense. It's probably your... Wait, what? I would never say some shit like that. Burn your spirit. I already know twin. Come on. Come on, twin. Rap towards. Give me that. Give me that. Stop playing with me. Let me get my Pokemon, nigga. Why didn't you just give it to me? Why I had to walk up and get that shit? Rap towards. Look at that jit, bro. Jit look cool as fuck. Why he so damn hype? Like, chill out. Uh, We're going to call him Veal. I don't know why. He just looked like a veal, like a rap. What the fuck? Hey, I'm tired of waiting. What the fuck? Oswald got their starter already. When do I get mine? Nigga, I'm done analyzing your tests, bro. Hmm. What he got, bro? Like, I hope he get that fucking grass type. I really do hope he get... You certainly know what you want out of life. You're impulsive, impatient, and care mostly about your own desires. But I sense something else inside of you. Chill? <laughs> Could it be the possible seed of greatness? Pause? The potential to transform yourself completely? Uh-huh. No, who cares, bro? For a trainer like... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Theo, I'm gonna fuck you up, nigga. Since you want to be so damn impatient. 
Yes, my first Pokemon. What the fuck? Oswald, you have a Pokemon. And now I have a Pokemon too. You know what this means, right? We have to battle. Oh, please. Not in the la- Yo, Professor, it wasn't me. Oh my God, Theo, you gonna get me. You gonna make this nigga take my fucking Pokemon away. Hey, hey. Ooh, this little fucking Looney Tunes ass background music, bro. Or Chinks. Toontown ass music. Oh, my boy, no. Ember off rip. Say less. Latest. Uh huh. Fuck out of here, nigga. Yeah, meow, meow back to your fucking Pokeball, nigga. I'm not gonna say nothing too crazy. Because, you know, Theo. Theo, a little small. He a little jit. Look at him. What? But, but I was supposed to win. No, you wasn't, nigga. B but how? I'm supposed to be the b best trainer ever, nigga. That's impossible. Good trainers never. Where? Please don't cry, Theo. Here, I'll heal your Pokemon for you. Yeah, that's what I thought. I, I wanted to be an unbeatable trainer. How come I couldn't win? I really want, really wanted to win, <laughs> nigga. Cause he wasn't the very best. Oh shit. Because he wasn't the very best, bro. That's it. Well, between your starter and Oswald's, there's um, has a type advantage. Fire beats grass. Grass beats water. Water beats fire. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the elemental type of triangle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to learn and master it. Yada, yada, yada. No, no way. I, I want to do over. How come Oswald gets the better starter? Ah, oh, this is on fire. Ah, oh, bitch. I can't speak. Let me get something to drink real quick. Ugh, this isn't fair, man. I I'm going home. All right, laters. <laughs> hey, so sore loser, bro. Sore fucking loser. What can I say, Professor? I'm just that good, man. But you shouldn't be so quick to judge him. He oh, my fault, my fault. Yeah, I should not be so quick. Hey, can I have that last Pokemon that you have right there? He not going to use it. You not going to... Where are you going? I'm going out to the entrance of Route 1 by the edge of town. Bring Theo, and I'll teach you how to catch a... Bitch, I don't need to know how to catch a Pokemon. I already know how to do that shit, man. Damn. Alright. Where's this little crybaby ass nigga at, bro? Can't believe this shit. This nigga, is he living in the crib that's as big as mine? Baby ass nigga, bro. Hey, yo. Cuz where? There he is, bro. Hey, what's good? What did you say to my son? He ran upstairs crying and locked the door behind him. He won't tell me what's wrong or come downstairs. I swear, if you did anything to bitch, calm down. What's wrong with you? I'll slap you upside your head. What happened to my mama? Oh, so that's how it is. So he got the weaker starter and you beat him in a battle. Hmm. I see. That explain yeah, exploded on me like that and shit, bro. Like chill, nigga. I'm just a jit. A good jit. A harsh lesson to be sure. But losing is as much as a part of being a trainer as winning. He had his heart set on this day being perfect. So losing right off the bat is somewhat of a shock. I mean, duh. Still, crying won't solve anything. It's, that's something he has to learn. Theo, get your ass downstairs right now, nigga. Oh, shit. Damn, that boy came out with the quickness. What? Sniffle. Theo, you can't cry every time you fucking lose a battle, nigga. Stop being a bitch, bro. You see the hair? You see the drip? I used to be an elite four twin. You ain't got to do that shit. That's embarrassing to me as an elite, um, retired elite four. But, but it isn't fair. Oswald got the better starter in me. Now I'm never... What? Now I'm never going to win. Nah, you're not. Because I'm going to keep winning too, bitch. <laughs> then you'll have to catch more Pokemon to balance out your team's weaknesses. Besides, a well-raised Pokemon can still win even at a disadvantage. There's no sense in giving up before you even begin. Yeah, true, true, true. <laughs> Sniff. Yes, Dad. Now, Theo. Now, Theo. I won't always be around to pick you up whenever you're feeling down, all right? So try to be strong for yourself, okay? Oswald, please be patient with my son. You know, he a little special, a little kind of on the slow side, but... No, nah, you ain't hear nothing, Theo. Never mind. Um, Wait, he too, he way too young to be going out by himself. Look at that. Nigga look like he just about, like, what, four years younger than me, I think. Oh, I nearly forgot, Oswald, there's something I have to give to both of you. Uh-huh, like a present? Yes, exactly. Oswald, your father. 
Oswald, your father, Kellyan, sent me these and told me to give them to both of you, blah, blah. I don't need it, bro. I don't need nothing from that nigga. A poke pot? What the fuck even is that? What's that? It's a high tech blah, 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 that's indispensable for Pokemon trainers. It plays music and includes a map. I don't care, nigga. I don't need that shit. I got this nice battle ass theme. I got the red one. It's cooler than yours. Okay. I'm gonna meet the professor by the edge of town. I'll be the first to catch a Pokemon. Bye, Dad. Keep up, Oswald. What's wrong with this nigga, bro? Don't talk about a dramatic turnaround. He always bounces back quickly. Yeah, I can tell, bro. Uh, you got that's all you gotta say for me? Yeah. I wish I could get moving, bro, but you still got a bunch of shit to tell me. Supervising the construction of the new plant in um of the new power plant Epsilon? Epsilon, I think. Perhaps I'll see you there in time. Uh, after all, it's the little place Lucille was ever s Oh, Psh, bitch, I read that completely wrong. After all, it's the last place Lucille was ever seen. Best of luck. Oh, I knew that was that nigga. All right, later. Best of luck, twin. All right, so I'm going to end things off right over here. Wait, no, I'm not going to do that shit. Never mind. <laughs> Hold up. Let's keep going. Let's keep it going. Whew, all right. Damn, this shit is kind of beautiful so far, bro. No cap. He said he was going to be at where? At the edge of town? Let me see. Somewhere around... Oh, shit, bitch. This is not... What is that? Yeah, more starters and he just gave me one? He said somewhere at the edge of town, bitch. Where is that? Maybe somewhere around here? Oh, bitch. It is right here. What's good? Hey there, Oswald. Now that you and Theo are here, it's time to begin your first lesson as a Pokemon trainer and field researcher. Watch closely. Wild Pokemon are probably known... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bitch, I'm gonna just skip through all this. I already know how to catch a Pokemon, bro. Uh-huh. A few steps in. What the fuck? Nerd Apple. Look at that. Look at the fucking buck teeth it got. That nigga's like, oh. <laughs> Sound like Goofy or some shit. <laughs> They're very common around here. He said it was, what, a chin, chin, chinny monk? Chinny monk? Electux? So the guy was the other starter. Oh, bitch, you really had to tell us that, huh? I mean, you could have just gave it to me. Oh, wait, Professor, you about to become a trainer too? What? Hey, nice. Yeah, you tackle, blah, blah, blah. Damn. Hit him from the back? Pause? What the fuck? That nigga didn't even know he was getting attacked. Goofy ass fucking chipmunk. I don't want that shit. You ain't got to give it to me. You ain't got to give it to me, twin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you, bro. That, what the fuck? Oh, Pokédex? Bitch, I was not expecting that. I thought the PokePod was a Pokédex. Mm-hmm. What, what else? Oh, some Pokéballs, too? Hey, thank you, bro. Appreciate you for that, man. Uh, what's the thing kids always say? Gotta catch them all, bitch. I ain't never said that a day in my life until I had to repeat what you just said, bro. I never in my life had to say that shit. All right, Moki Town. But there's one blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. So that said, your lesson is now over. But you two have Pokepods, yada, yada, yada. All right. You a trainer or some shit now, bro? All right. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Special rewards for, like, catching Pokemon? Say less. Appreciate you, Professor. Oh, laters. Theo, what you got to say? Oswald, I don't care that you got the stronger starter, okay, nigga? <laughs> I don't care that you asked. What? Oswald, I'm still going to be the best trainer ever. Uh-huh. Say less. Let's see you try it. I catch tons of Pokemon and will win every battle. Mm hmm Yeah, just you wait and see. Yeah, all right, bro. I'm going to catch you. Well, all right, everybody. That is where I'm leaving off the episode. Uh, let me know what y'all think about this old-ass game. It's been a hot minute since I played something like this. Uh, I mean, even though, like, the mapping is kind of breaking and shit like that, that's how you know it's an old-ass game. This is like that old, old RPG maker type shit. You feel me? But let me know what y'all think. If y'all like the series, leave a like down below. Let me know if you want to see some more Pokemon Uranium. I'll be more than happy to record this shit. This is just to show y'all. It was like a, I would say, throwback type of day for me. And, I mean, the game was beautiful. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Peace.